Hi Rockstars, I'm Allie, your Rockstar Bar Girl, and um, I don't really know what this video is about, actually. I kind of just really wanted to make a video, because um, I haven't been making them or posting them regularly because of this super time-consuming job that I have. So I kind of just wanted to touch base and, and post something. It's not going to be an instructional video and I don't necessarily think you'll learn anything from it. So if this isn't the type of video that you like, then let me know below. Of course, if you do like it, then thumbs up. Um, but if you don't, then let me know down below um, and I'll try to keep it to just the instructional stuff. But I thought maybe, just maybe, um, you might like to hear a little bit about like what I'm doing professionally and what's going on because not only is my job super time consuming but there's kind of some drama going on so maybe that will be interesting to you. Yeah so I figured I'd start off by telling you guys a little bit more about the job because uh, if you remember from my video not this most recent one but the one right before where I was talking about my new job I had just gotten it and I hadn't started um, and so what it would entail and what it would be all about I still didn't really no. So now, here I am, um, exactly two months later, and it has taken on a life of its own. Um, so briefly, if you haven't seen my other video, um, I am now the general manager of a bar in the East Village. It's a really cool concept. That being said, it's been one of the like most tiring and stressful things ever. Um, for the last two weeks, I've worked an average of 80 hours a week. Some weeks it's been 70, some weeks it's been 90. And that has been really, really hard. I am no stranger to long hours or to hard work, but what's made this job particularly hard is I've really been doing it all on my own, except for all of the help that I've been getting from my incredible, incredible staff. So. A little bit of backstory: um, when I was hired, the position was originally pitched as a third bartender, third manager, third event planner, and very quickly um, it became clear that like there would be no time for bartending and structuring all of the events and different things that we do to raise money for the charities as well as all the like accounting and paperwork that goes into keeping all of that straight and transparent quickly took on a life of its own and became a full-time job so to date after two months of being at this job i have not made a single cocktail not a single drink at this barn I've poured some wines, um, I've put together, you know, whipped up some shots for like parties, but in terms of actually making any of the drinks on our menu, I have not made a single one. Um, and that's kind of hard for me because I have that as a job, I'm always going to be a bartender at heart and that's what I'm going to love the most. So that's been hard. Aside from that, um, there are two individuals, two gentlemen, um, that have a relationship with the owner and that are supposed to be acting as like head bartenders, beverage director type people. And they have been MIA for like all two months. And there are some reasons in there, people have hurt themselves and there have been vacations and yada yada. But those are all really just excuses. Um, they're just entirely too busy and not super interested in like work. So um, they haven't been. So all of the managerial work, all of the operational work, all of the administrative work has all fallen on me. And I got super, super lucky because somehow I managed to end up with this really dope staff that totally recognizes how unbelievably inundated with work I am and how fucked up it is that the people who are supposed to be um, 
helping and working at the bar or not. And they have taken it upon themselves to like really be there for me. Um, I've had staff members come in on their days off just to check in because they knew that something was going to be busy. Or I've had them come in early and not clock in, not get paid, um, just to end up lend an extra hand. Um, stuff like that. I mean, but even with all of their help, what is on my plate as my responsibilities is just like outrageous. And I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm in a position right now because I don't really know where to go from here. There really isn't anything, despite my owner claiming that there's going to be some changes to my workload to make it more reasonable. I don't really believe that. So the owner of this bar is a really cool guy, but he's really more of an idea person. So he says things that like aren't actually feasible <laughs> at all. Um, and just like says it like as if it's Bible. Um, so when he tells me that I am going to go from 80 hours a week to 40 hours a week, but hasn't really done anything to make that happen, I kind of don't really buy it. So I had to kind of make a decision for myself about whether or not I want to keep going on in this position. Um, things there haven't really turned out the way I expected, as I explained, not my job requirements and job responsibilities not really being what was pitched to me. And then, you know, being told that certain people are going to be doing things and taking on certain responsibilities and that not happening today and probably not going to happen going forward. And it's, it's become really frustrating to be in the position that I'm in and I'm wondering to myself, like, to what end do I stick around? Like, what am I accomplishing if I stick around, you know? I opened this bar from scratch by myself in two weeks. I took a closed down restaurant, furniture was there, some decor, all the bar wells and stuff like that some liquor and like some leftover beer and wine. Every single thing that anyone pretty much touches on a daily basis, I bought, I provided, I created. And I'm super excited because I've been a part of bar openings before, but this is the first time that I can say I opened a bar. Um, I sat in that bar while it was all coming together, getting everything that needed to be done done and getting ready for a grand opening. And not to toot my own horn, though shit, why not toot toot? I don't know anybody um, that could have done that. Not to knock anybody that I know in this business, it's just, it just is what it is. I don't, I don't know anybody that could have done that. I'm incredibly proud of myself and I feel like while I've always known that I could open a bar on my own because it's my dream and it's what I want to do, to actually get to do it is wonderful. I learned a lot of things. There are things I would do differently if I went back. There are things I would delegate to others. I would probably have realized the BS of the individuals who are supposed to be helping me. I probably would have put my foot down a lot earlier and said, you're going to either do this or I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Um, I probably wouldn't have been so nice and like accommodating and respectful um, the whole time. So I learned a lot of things and I'm, I'm glad for the experience. And I'm just wondering like, what do I gain from saying I opened this bar and I was there for six months or a year or two years? I opened a bar from scratch by myself. That's the accomplishment. That's the thing that I can take to others and say, look at what I did. How long I stick around after that doesn't really matter. So why should I? I don't know, I guess I'm just 
letting you guys know what I'm going through. There's a lot more to it that I can't really get into, but for now, obviously I'm working for a really well-known person in the bar business, so there's that. But I'm the rock star bar girl, and I'm gonna be something someday, no matter who I work for. Because I'm awesome, and I work hard. So, do I really need to stay in this situation because of somebody's name attached to my resume? I don't know. That no longer seems like a good enough reason. What is there to gain? I don't know, what would you do? And like I said, not super instructional or even very useful, but get back to me. Like this video if you like it. There's not much going on here, so I can understand if you don't. But maybe leave me a comment below to let me know if this is the type of video that you'd like to see more of. Are you guys cool with me posting videos just talking about my current jobs or what I'm going through as a working bartender and bar manager? Um, or would you prefer to just keep it at the instructional stuff? Because we can do that too. But, uh... Yeah, I just, I missed you guys. I missed you guys. So I wanted to chat with you and let you know what's going on. So, of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and follow me on Instagram at rockstar underscore bar girl. I'm still posting there regularly. I'm still posting my bartender tips. Uh, so you want to check that out. Make sure you follow me for those really cool tips. They are useful. They're instructional. They're more instructional than this video. So, if you didn't find this helpful, then go follow me on Instagram. Other than that, I guess I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, Rockstars.